Hi guys, I'm Allie, and today we're going to be talking about a new planet aquarium. So if it's time for you to get a nice big aquarium, this planet 120 gallon tank is absolutely beautiful. So it's got a white stand, three foot stand, so it's nice and tall, and a white canopy. These are all custom built. And uh, today I'm going to be talking about aquascaping with a, for a freshwater setup. This is our OSA bulk silica based sand. We sell it by the bucket or by the pound, uh, and it's beautiful. It creates a beautiful contrast on the bottom, especially with the bright fish. It just really brings out the colors and of our OSA plants as well. So for a 120 gallon tank, I would say probably two buckets. Each bucket is about 50 pounds, or I think they're approximately 45, technically. With a freshwater tank, it's not like salt water, where typically you do a pound per gallon. With freshwater, usually um, a little bit less than that works ideal, but it all depends on your what you want to do. If you want to do just an inch, substrate then you do less and vice versa see so when I aquascape this tank I'm gonna be what I want to be trying to do so this tank has an overflow on it so even though most people think of an overflow they think of salt water you could certainly do an absolutely beautiful freshwater tank with this you could do bigger fish because the overflow in the sump system allows you to have a heavier stock uh, because you're dealing with more water volume we ended up really only using about one bucket yeah, about Which was perfect because I don't want a really deep sand bed in there, so that should be ideal. Thank you so much, Joe. You're welcome. The rest is up to you. <laughs> All right, guys. So I guess I'll get into the aquascaping now. I'm building up, like I said, a little bit around the uh, the overflow box here. I want this to be my focal point. That's where I'm going to be putting all of our decorations. So our wood, our plants, and our rock. So typically we want we want it to look as natural as possible. So with the wood, I'm going to build that up around here, and uh, then we'll put the rocks over it. With an aquarium, you usually go by the rule of three. So it's always like a triangle shape when you look at it. It's kind of, it sounds kind of complicating, but when you're looking at an aquarium, typically you want your tall stuff in the back, and then you're gonna do your mid-level, and then your foreground. So as you can see here, I built our wood up nice and tall in the back. That's gonna be our background. Next, I'm gonna start working on the rocks. So the rocks are gonna be an integral part of this decoration. I'm gonna actually kind of use them to hold the wood down for one, uh, but also it'll just create that middle ground. So I picked a large flat New England round stone, which we sell here. So like I said, we're trying to make it look as natural as possible. So you don't wanna you know, make everything uniform and look you know, like it all perfectly goes together because that's not really natural. Typically we try to just place rocks and wood kind of random. I went with all large stone. There we go. All right, so it looks kind of blah right now, but once I get some plants in there, it's gonna look really, really cool. So these are our, our OSA plants. They're artificial, obviously, uh, but they have really come a long way. Artificial plants are looking much more realistic nowadays, and these are the ones that we use here. So again, with the uh, rule of threes, we're trying to go Background, middle ground, foreground. So I picked some taller grasses like these, and these will create a really nice background behind the wood and the rock. So these plants are really nice. They actually have a little metal wire in here, so they are bendable. A lot of people ask me. Uh, the best way to do it is bend it just like this, and then put it under a rock or something heavier to hold it in. The wood and the rock here is gonna hold that in place, so I don't really have to bend it. This one I am going to bend a little bit. Kind of want to make it look natural. You know, all the plants aren't going to be the same height, the same exact row and spots in the wild. All right, so that's my background there. Kind of built it up, it's a little bit tall. You could always do, you know, whatever you wanted to do. You could do tall grasses and really hide this overflow. I decided to kind of keep it open. So I grabbed four different colors here and types. And again, you want to vary it, you know, make it kind of get some all different plants in there and try to make it look as natural as you can. And try not to stay too symmetrical is another good thing, because again, you want it to look natural. I also try to keep the colors a little bit different too. You know, it depends on what style you want to go with. If you want to go with um, more bright and colorful, you could do all sorts of colored flowers. You could do whatever you want to do. If you want to keep it more natural looking, you could stick with more neutral colors. Like I kind of went with neutral this time. I did more of like whites and yellows and light pink colors. All right, but you can see I kind of broke up the plants. I didn't keep the white ones together, the yellow ones together, the pink. I'm trying to, you know, create more of a diversity here. 
with this style, I kind of went minimalist. I didn't do a whole lot. I didn't want to really fill it up with plants and wood and rocks. I just kind of wanted to do a big focal point in the middle and give the fish a lot of space to swim around and do their thing. So this is what I've come up with for today. Uh, if, when you come into our store, our tanks are always pre-decorated. And this is really just to give the buyer an idea of what the tank might look like in their, in their house. We also want you to be able to visualize and see what you would do at home. You know, you don't have to use what we do. You can certainly just have fun with it. It's kind of like an inspiration room. All of our tanks are decorated to kind of inspire you and get you to think about what you would do in your home. So this is, like I said, this is the Planet Aquarium. It's got an internal overflow on it. It comes with a sump as well. It's got custom made canopy and stand. This is the three foot stand, 36 inch. Beautiful, nice and high up. I really like this style, this height, because it gives you that in your face look. You can, it's right here. You don't have to bend down and look at it. And it's not too, too tall or it's hard to work on. So this is a really beautiful tank, probably my favorite size as well. It's not overwhelming. It's only a four foot tank, but it's got really, it's really deep front to back, which is really great. It will work, like I said, it's great for salt water, but it's definitely perfect for fresh water as well. If you wanted to go with bigger African cichlids, this is the perfect tank for that because you got the sump where your uh, overflow goes and all your uh, biomedia and your carbon and all those things would be down there, your heater's down there, it's not going to be visually in the tank kind of being that thing that you're like, oh, that heater's hanging in there. You don't need, you don't have all that. It'll all be in your sump hidden down here. And it gives you more water volume, so therefore you can handle bigger fish like African cichlids and you can really fill this tank and make it look really beautiful. It'd be a super colorful freshwater aquarium for you at home.